Good morning, this is my Shaman Org reading for Thursday. Today I have some time, so I decided to give a special reading for all the 12 zodiac signs using three card decks, but one card deck box I cannot display here since there is no box, only a book with loose cards in a pocket, which is the illustrated herbarary. So I cannot display anything but the card itself. And the reading here now is for Libra. Welcome Libra. And the plant card for you is the red clover. And the red clover says center and crowned yourself. This commonly cultivated forage crop feeds horses, cows, sheep, goats, and just about anything else that humans keep at their pasture. She, the red clover, plants your feet on the ground two or four it does not matter to her, while encouraging you to run a few miles or dive into that art project that you have been avoiding. So the red clover wants you to get moving in body and in spirit. She loves grounded action and will happily bolster your courage from the Latin word core, which means heart, when you are acting from a strong center so you can step out and move forward. Bold but not rash, the red clover gets your blood up so you can show up fully. There is a ritual that is, that is called Crowned Energy and Flow. Crowned Energy and Flow might seem like an oxymoron, but this exercise will help you feel these two forces working hand in hand. So stand with your feet shoulder width apart, your arms held loosely over your sides, and your gaze focusing gently forward. Imagine a string lifting you from the top of your head and two more pulling your feet toward the center of the earth. This is yoga's mountain pose, which will teach you the vitality of stillness. Now add some breath inhaling all the way down to your belly and exhaling fully. So this is the flow. Finally, finally picture red clover calling her into your heart as you expand your energy. Storms make trees take deeper roots, said Dolly Parton. Do a reflection called counter-reactivity. Often we deplete ourselves with uncrowned bursts of energy, physical, mental or emotional, instead of cultivating steady flow. So the red clover's gift is grounded action. She helps us harness our vitality so we can move forward with purpose. Review your past week, asking can you think of any moments when you were overzealous, overzealous, manic, frenzic, or overactive, or overreactive? Maybe you overdid it on a bike ride, Perhaps you promised more than you could comfortably deliver to your boss 
for a friend. Maybe you felt a burst of impatience or even rage when the driver in the car in front of you slowed to a near stop before a right hand turn, or perhaps you were fuming behind your smile as the person ahead of you in the checkout line counted out twelve dollars and eighty cents in loose change. Now in contrast, think of a time when you acted from a grounded and centered place, that is, when you were present and measured in your action or response. Compare the feelings from these two opposite situations, locate them in your physical body and ask how does it feel within me when I am grounded, centered and purposeful. Look for patterns and then make a plan to keep yourself centered. Having a plan offers you an option other than just being reactive. The next card is from the illustrated crystallary deck. Out for you came the card Moonstone. And the Moonstone is about the ebb and the flow. The moon rules the waters pulling the tides and singing to the ebb and the flow within our own watery bodies. And as the moon's acolyte, moonstone holds the mystery of water, teaching us to swim in our own depths and find our own rhythm of waxing and waning. When you feel disoriented, by new places or experiences, or when the pull of modernity has taken you away from the mysteries of the natural realms, the moonstone will guide you back. She is a stone for the journey from dark to light, from inner to outer, from winter to summer, steadfast in her gentle assertion that everything comes around again. Flowing with, with life's tides, the moonstone assures you and then leads you to renewal. And the last card is from the new deck I got. It is called the Heart Pass Oracle Deck and the card for you is called Mindfulness. And the mindfulness relates to the stairway to personal power. The card you have selected shows a blue moose and a prairie dog suspended into class cases filled with clouds. The moose is looking directly at the viewer while the prairie dog looks off to the right through a hole in the class. A woman named Tilaka is wearing a hijab and she points to your left. The outer three prairie dogs they are looking with great interest in the direction that a woman is pointing. Tilaka is connected to a spherical object by her root, nerve-like legs. This planet-like object is reminiscent of the back of an eyeball and Tilaka's legs, the optic are the optic nerve. Four steps ascend to a portal encircled by a golden ring and yellow, red, orange 
and pink feathers. Three lines emanate from Tilaka's third eye. The stars dot the nighttime sky. So the message for you is that the clouds are parting and you can see that what you are doing is for a higher purpose. With the help of the blue moose and the prairie dogs, the view you have of yourself will be challenged. So use the blue moose's strengths when you feel any weakness or doubt as the color blue brings with it the vibrations of freedom, confidence and stability. If the moose has found you today, you have reason to feel good about something that you have accomplished. This achievement may be a habit that you have broken, a completion of some sort, an insight on a goal or a new sense of self. You need to put a feather in your cap for all the unnoticed brave things you do every day. Do not be modest. Shout out with joy because joy is contagious. The prairie dogs, they let you know that you are a part of a larger community both here and on the other side of the whale. You care deeply about others and have a gift for bringing peaceful energy to any situation. So these animated creatures, they help you get things done fast, maybe because they eat so healthily. The golden ring represents prosperity and increased personal power. Balance, being gentle with, being strong. Have patience during this time of transition and trust in yourself. You have a vital role to play during this time of ascension and new knowledge. So open yourself to positive possibilities and only let in the ideas and beliefs that expand your consciousness. Listen and see, not only with your three-dimensional eyes, but more importantly, with your inner third eye, how loving compassion revolutionizes your world. With this new vibration, love in all forms is sure to find you. Say this affirmation, my inner and outer vision is clear. I can see everything I need to know. That was your reading, Libra. Thank you very much for listening. I do wish you a joyous day today and the rest of a good week. Take care and goodbye.